Hey, I'm Ronnie James, love my pulse, my British supply. I'm going to do a video today, it's a DNA video, about uh, when people start talking about carriers. They say, this puppy is an Isabella carrier, this puppy is a new shade carrier. Um, it gets a bit confusing. Um, and I much prefer personally that somebody just gives you the outright DNA and you can fully understand what is going on. So let's talk a little bit about what they mean by this and what the chances are that the dog, if it's a, for instance, if this is a new shade carrier, what's the chances that it'll produce new shades for you? Because that's what the important part is, right? So when somebody says a dog's a new shade carrier, it's like, yeah, yeah, new shade, we're expensive dogs. Now I want to get an, I want to get a new shade Isabella. And uh, that be, you know, it's a great dog to have. So what is that dog? Let's just talk about what that, let's just give that as an example. So that dog would be a dog, a, a new shade Isabella would be a dog that is little E, well, we're going to call it, excuse me, a new shade platinum. Let me, let me back that up. A new shade platinum. That dog is a cream dog <clears throat> that carries two copies of blue or the dilution gene and carries both versions of chocolate, testable chocolate, and what we call cocoa now, the untestable chocolate. That is a new shade platinum. That's an expensive dog. That dog could produce all kinds of colors. It can produce cream dogs, blue dogs, chocolate dogs, cocoa dogs, um, lilac, lilac dogs, Isabella dogs, um, platinum dogs, plat platinum dogs, new shade dogs. I mean, it can be all kinds of stuff. So somebody says to you, the puppy you're getting for me, it's a new shade uh, Isabella maker. What does it mean? It means all kinds of stuff. Let's talk about the very minimum it has to be. It has to be one copy of E, one copy of blue, one copy of testable, one copy of cocoa. That's the absolute minimum that this supposedly new shade uh, platinum maker that's the very very least so let's say that you buy that dog what can that dog produce well it can produce all kinds of interesting colors i mean it can produce greens blues co chocolates cocos can all be produced in that dog that's great but what's the likelihood of taking that dog and getting a new shade platinum out of it and the answer is pretty darn slim so let's find out why that is so let's marry these two dogs together this is one parent, this is the other parent. Let's put them together and let's see what we, what we would expect to get. Now I'm gonna do a Punnett square on the very first one because all the other Punnett squares are gonna come out the same way. So what we've got here is we'll look at the cream element. So we've got a dog that's little Lily being married to the dog that, that is the cream carrier. What do we get? We get half of them are that. And the other half are creams. So 50% of the offspring are going to be creams. Great. We're heading in the right direction. So, <clears throat> put a little squirty stuff on there. Now remember, all these genes are independent of each other. So we had half the puppies ended up being EE, 50%. So there we go. We're on our ways to making this new shade platinum. Same thing with the blue. One half at this Parents always going to give the blue gene. This dog, this dog gives it half the time. So we get DD 50% of the time. And guess what? We keep on going. We get BB 50% of the time. And we get little CO, little CO 50% of the time. So what are the chances that we get all of these combinations in a puppy? Well, we can write this another way. 50% is a probability of a half. Same thing, just a different way of expressing the math. So what's the chance? It's not a half plus a half plus a half. It's a half times a half times a half times a half. So that's a half, a quarter, an eighth, one sixteenth. One sixteenth of the likely offspring would be this, what we want to get, new shade platinum, uh, new shade platinum. It's not a very good chance. If you had a litter of 16 puppies, you'd expect one puppy <clears throat> to be the coveted new shade platinum. And if you're looking for a female, then that's only one in 32, because the other one in 32, which makes the one in 16, this is the males and this is the females. 
So if you want to get a female out of this, the chances of you getting it are slim to none. It doesn't mean it couldn't happen, but it means that it's highly unlikely. You know, average size litter for a Frenchie, four or five puppies. If you had four puppies and you've got one in 32 times of getting it there, you'd have to have eight litters before you got that female out of it. Eight litters, it's not very likely. Could happen, just like winning the lottery. It's not like it can't happen, it could happen. Uh, it's better than lots of lottery, by the way, but it's still a pretty slim chance. So I think that's the important part. I want, to, I want to talk about when somebody says a dog is a carrier, you need to find out exactly what, you know, it's much better to have the DNA because, <clears throat> let's get rid of this bottom part here. I'm gonna get rid of this, I'm gonna get rid of this. And we're gonna keep these two here. And somebody says that their dog is a new shade producer. So that means, by the way, the new shade, the new shade dog would be little b, little b, little co, little co, there's the new shade. And the dog that you're buying has a copy of, copy of both versions of chocolate, though it is neither versions. By the way, it doesn't have a red eye glow, because you have to have two copies. This dog here has a red eye glow. It doesn't matter. That dog has a red eye glow, and that dog has a red eye glow. Red eye glow in a dark room with a video with your camera light on. Not a picture, but a video. Shows a demonic red eye glow, especially in older dogs. That one doesn't, because it doesn't have two copies of either one. So let's do this again. What's the chances of getting this coveted new shade dog out of it? Well, you'll get that a half the time, and you get that a half the time. So one in four. One in four of the litter will be new shades. Much better odds than the other one, by the way. So if you're looking for a female, one eighth of them is gonna be females, and one eighth one males. And remember, this is not a guarantee this is what you're gonna get. This is just statistical, like flipping a coin. You know, you don't flip a coin every, every other time you get a head and every other time you get a tail. It doesn't work that way. If you flip a, um, a, a, a coin 100 times, you'll get, on average, you get damn close to 50 heads and 50 tails if it's a fair coin, but you might get a grouping of four heads all together or four tails all together. You know, there's no, the individual, in the individual throws aren't particularly relevant. It's the overall amount. So again, one eighth the litter female new shades, one eighth female. New. Again, you know, not, not just like impressive odds, of course. Now, <clears throat> you take this dog here and you make this dog a cocoa that carries a copy of chocolate, well, guess what? Every puppy that you produce, these two put together, every puppy you produce ends up being little CEO, little CEO. They are all chocolate dogs. And half of those dogs are carriers of the testable chocolate and the other half are uh, um, testables. So now you get one half of the whole litter are new shade. And the other half of the litter are cocos that carry testable. Much better odds. So when somebody says a dog is a new shade carrier, you've got to ask exactly what they're talking about. I don't like this. Um, you now we do things like we say a dog is a quad carrier. You know, you know, typically that means maybe that it carries cream, blue, cocoa, and tan points. It, it might mean that it carries, um, well, there's all different ways that you can talk about quad carriers. You're saying it carries four things and we don't know what those four things are. I think that in all of these circumstances, uh, I'm much happier if you had got a true DNA result so you can figure out exactly what's going on. And, and, and I, there's a lot of confusion on this, especially when people start to talk about carriers. Some of these people say their dog is an Isabella carrier and it just can't make an Isabella, period. So, uh, and I'm not saying that people are trying to be deceptive. I'm sure they're not. It's just that it's confusing when you start talking about these things in terms of carries. It's much better to know what the DNA is. There we go. Wasted 10 minutes of your time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching the, the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet, I'm not a licensed medical professional, I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades, 
any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here, and certainly this should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye.